My name is Antonio Lain, and I'm the founder of Caviar's Labs. Let's talk about how to build with Caviar's a very special API gateway for Kafka. Many large companies today use Apache Kafka to handle streams of events in real time. They can use the Kafka Streams API to build applications that read messages from one topic, process them, and write new events to a different one. And the great thing about Kafka is that we can do that fast and with exactly one semantics. So even if a server crashes, we will eventually process all the events without creating duplicates. So what about the smaller companies? The challenge is they are increasingly dependent on third-party API providers for billing, shipping, accounting, fraud detection, and so on. And therefore, the processing of an event from a Kafka topic could require one or many external API calls. So why is this an issue? Why can't we just add HTTP calls to our Kafka Streams app? Two reasons. First, these web APIs typically have latencies in the hundreds of milliseconds. And within a partition, processing frameworks handle events sequentially, so we will get extremely low throughput per Kafka partition. Second, no more exactly ones processing semantics. Calling external services is always outside the scope of a Kafka transaction. So if there are failures, we could end up with duplicated calls or something worse an orphan sequence of calls that never finishes. The KVJS framework is a good replacement for Kafka streams in this case. KVJS implements an actor-based model using a synchronous I.O. that never blocks the main thread. Kafka events are typically a key-value pair, and ordering is only guaranteed for events with the same key. By ma mapping each key to an actor, we can leverage concurrency across keys within a partition. And that can improve throughput by several orders of magnitude. We can also recover exactly one semantics. In KVJS, actors are transactional. Processing a message starts a transaction that captures in a log, changes to the actor state, and pending external interactions. When processing finishes without errors, the framework commits by checkpointing the log in Redis. And after that, the external calls are, are made. By delaying external calls, we can always abort cleanly before commit. And also, when we crash and restart, a reloaded actor will always first check the log for committed external actions and ensure they get done. This makes it very easy to build a consistent, at least once, API gateway. So for example, just keep the last process Kafka offset in the actor state, and mediate API calls with transactional plugins that will delay, checkpoint, and retry if needed, every external interaction. But what about exactly once? The idea is that transactional plugins can also ensure that the external calls are important. How to do that depends on the service. In some cases, we just need to reuse the transaction ID and ignore some errors. In others, we can query the status of the last request before retrying. And what if we depend on two or more external services? KVJS composes transactional plugins with a two-phase protocol, ensuring that they all commit or abort together. Let me show you a simple example. Hello Kafka. This app tracks transfers of units between users of the KVS cloud. Each transfer maps into two Kafka events, one incrementing the destination account and the other one decrementing the source account. Since transfers are all internal, the total number of units does not change, and this simplifies detecting duplicates or missed events. Hello Kafka implements a, an API gateway, consuming events from a topic, 
dispatching them to local actors, and then these actors use the CrossApp transactional plugin to interact with an external service that collects global statistics. Let's start the demo. The panel on the left is my phone, showing the external services statistics. And the one on the right is my laptop, with a management interface for the API gateway. Let's run it first without failures. There are 100 users with a total of 10,000 units being ex exchanged. We are processing over 100 requests per second, an order of magnitude faster than processing them in order. And as expected, we ended up with the same 10,000 units. Now let's do it again, but this time we will cross the gateway during processing. We can see how the backend is gone, and in a few seconds, Kubernetes will restart the container and processing will continue, guaranteeing exactly one semantics. Now we still get the same 10,000 units. There is much more information about KVGS in our website. The examples are in GitHub, and you can sign up for free to the KVGS Cloud. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for listening.